I want to tell you about being a brown girl, see? I don't speak for brown girls. Because like we assume white individuality, how we separate their shades of pearl, alabaster, cream. There are different shades of chai, coffee, and tea. When I speak, I speak for me. And let me tell you, I get culture shock every time I look in the mirror. See, I'm not an ABCD or even a BBCD. I'm more of a British-born, American-raised, confused as hell Desi who's got some other kind of ancestry mixed in me but can never be sure of what it is because my grandma lost her copy of the family tree. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't help it. When God made me, he took the tea bag out too early. Omnipotent Deity didn't listen to his auntie G when he made that fateful morning cup of chai, tried to find a way to avoid wastage, and instead basted my skin with it. And now I'm painted this semi-toasted tint that I can't quite name, holding up a Pantone color chart and praying that my shade's on there somewhere. So birthed into this world with my stained skin, I am asked the inevitable question, where do you really come from? As if I know. Well, all of my brown friends call India the motherland. I think I must be adopted. How could it be my motherland if it didn't birth me? If I've never even seen it firsthand? Shout out to Salman Rushdie for teaching me that my homeland is imaginary, because it really ain't my homeland. Ain't even my mother's homeland. Ain't even my mother's mother's homeland. Not really, see? Nanijan was taken from India at 15 and arranged into a marriage with a full-grown man. Kenya, the next homeland for my mother, and then Hounslow, Brownsville of London, an attached house with pink walls where I was born and then brought to America, homeland number three. But now I've got this accent, these friendships, this family that spans oceans, ancestry that circles the whole globe. I am proof that the whole world is home, that this world is borderless. And there's nobody who can tell me what I am because there's nobody who can tell me what I'm not. I spend hot desert winds in Hyderabad biryani, calligraphic inscriptions in swimming competitions, scones with clotted cream and jam and advanced placement exams, shawar kameez that love my curved hips and Abercrombie jeans that just won't sit over them, masala dosas, mimosas, mimosas, Arabic lessons, Saturday detentions, text messages, varsity jackets, empty Cadbury packets. I want international multicultural package wrapped up in brown paper, tied up with white string. My song is strewn all over this earth. So you better believe but the next time anybody asks me where I really come from, I'll just tell them I come from home. Thank you.